Cuba is fuming over Washington's decision to expel 15 more Cuban diplomats for what it calls unfounded charges of mysterious acoustic attacks against U.S. diplomats in Havana. The foreign ministry energetically protests and denounces this unfounded and unacceptable decision, along with the pretext used to justify it, that the Cuban government has not taken the appropriate measures to prevent these alleged incidents from occurring. After months of inconclusive investigations, more than 60 percent of U.S. embassy staff here is packing up to go home, ordered to leave Cuba to protect their health from possible new sonic attacks that have reportedly seriously damaged the hearing of more than 20 U.S. diplomats since last year. This according to the U.S. State Department. Cuba has repeatedly denied any involvement and says the U.S. is withholding information to help get to the bottom of the reported acoustic attacks. Down the street from the U.S. Embassy, people who say they're desperate to be reunited with their loved ones in the United States sit under the hot sun, uncertain of what to do now that the consulate section is no longer accepting new applications. Naira Rivera's husband is in the U.S., her daughter has a U.S. passport, but she does not have a visa. I had a visa appointment for September the 20th that was postponed because of Hurricane Irma, and now this political storm is preventing us from getting together. I don't know if or when I can travel. According to the U.S. Embassy website, most visa processing in Havana is suspended. Cuban applicants for non-immigrant visas may apply abroad. Something close to impossible for most Cubans. This embassy will be left with minimum consular staff, and so too will its Cuban counterpart in Washington after these expulsions. This may go down in history as one of the more bizarre incidents in the long, complex relationship between Washington and Havana. In fact, Cuba is now putting in doubt the U.S. version of events, saying it wants to see the proof that these so-called acoustic attacks ever took place in the first place. The foreign minister adds that Cuba has had no access to the alleged victims or their medical records. We call on the competent U.S. government authorities not to continue politicizing this issue, which can provoke an escalation of a conflict with undesired consequences. For these people waiting for visas to the U.S., that escalation, with its undesired consequences, is already a reality. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Havana.